Ladies and gentlemen, fight number one tonight is all thanks to our sponsors building industry training. First of all, introducing our blue corner. He weighed in at 65.9 kilos and tonight has his second fight inside the cage. Training under Marcus Collins, fighting out of Sassom MMA in Brisbane. Please welcome Alistair Valdez. Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 65.5 kilos, making his amateur debut here tonight. Training under Isaac Tisdall at Transform Martial Arts, he fights out of Mullumbimby, New South Wales. Dylan Hitchcock. Good evening to you ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Eternal 45 coming to you from the Southport Shark Sports Club here for our first bout this evening Alistair Valdez versus Dylan Hitchcock. My name is Tanira Nathan joined cage side by Jake Anderson. Jake good to be with you tonight. Yeah mate and we're straight into it. Valdez is looking to enjoy his reach and really really being aggressive out here and Hitchcock is trying to get in the pocket and just throw these bombs. He's managing to catch Valdez in the back foot early. Dylan Hitchcock on debut, looking very good. Absolutely, he's on right hands. That left hand's just for show. <laughs> Valdez covering up very well so far. You can actually look at the left arm and shoulder of Valdez just from eating all those shots. Oh, and we can hear it here. You can hear it for sure, Jake. Ellis there, Valdez doing okay at the moment. He's not taking too much damage, keeping that left hand high. I nice tell you what. There. Oh, he comes up with a head kick, like a question mark kick as well. As soon as I saw that he was from Tisdell's gym, I knew that he'd be hard as nails and super aggressive, and we're seeing exactly that. Absolutely, Jake. I couldn't agree with you more. Australia's premier mixed martial arts organization has returned to the Gold Coast. Expect a massive card tonight. As mentioned earlier, our main event is Brenton Mumford versus David Martinez for the Eternal Lightweight Championship. And back to the action here. Yeah, the difference between these boys is um, Boulders is changing up his attack. He's, he's got a bit of versatility. And just from Hitchcock, all we're seeing is that that right hand, as much as he loves it, it's just he's gone to the well a few too many times. And he just gets tagged there by Boulders. Boulders. Oh, oh, he's he's here. Here. This, fight over. this fight is over. Alistair Boulders. Massive knee from Boulders, and he just shuts off Dylan Hitchcock's. Massive knee there, Jake, and you called it coming. If you're too aggressive, you just may get caught. Absolutely right. He went to the well a few too many times with that right hand. He dips the head down as he throws it over the top, and the knee was there waiting for him. Fantastic victory by Alistair Boulders. Hitchcock looks, doesn't look any worse for wear. Nonetheless, as we look at the replay here, there's those right hands we were talking about, Jake. Yeah, you can see it here. He takes a big, deep breath in. You can almost guess what's going to be coming up next. A right hand, <laughs> it's just on and the menu, he, isn't it? And bang, as he's coming forward, yep. so flush. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the very first fight of the night. No need to go to the judges' scorecards for this one, as our referee, Thomas Churchill, has stopped the fight at a time of 1 minute 43 seconds in the very first round. Your winner by TKO, the blue corner, Alistair Boulders. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do not go anywhere if you are joining us via our live stream or you are in person, you are in for a treat. If that's anything to look forward to tonight, Jacob, we are in for a big fight night ahead. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the lightweight title capping off the card, vacated by Callan Potter, who was introduced into the UFC, vacated the title, but we've got two very, very worthy opponents. We've got Brendan Mumford, perennial challenger. He's always just been there on the cusp. He's been denied the lightweight title before, and today... He's going to fight it against David Martinez, who took a short-notice fight against a former UFC veteran. 